Welcome to part 30 in this series of videos on how to create a simple purchase order system using Blazor and C Sharp. One of my original requirements for the purchase order project was to have the ability to save a purchase order as a PDF file and then attach that PDF to an email to be sent to the supplier. This has proved to be far more difficult than I had ever anticipated. The two main obstacles have been, firstly, discovering a suitable tool to create PDF documents, and secondly, a way to save them so they could be attached to an email. Let's tackle the first of those two obstacles first, uh, the choice of a suitable tool to create the PDF documents. Amongst my trawl through the various PDF tools, uh, one that stood out was a product called iTech 7. However, I dismissed this on licensing grounds. Uh, the licensing wording, as you can see here, says when using iTech 7 community under AGPL, you must prominently mention iText and include the iText copyright and AGPL license in output file metadata and also retain the producer line in every PDF that is created or manipulated using iText. I'm not sure exactly what the AGPL license is, uh, but this was enough to put me off. The other slightly off-putting thing was that the pricing of iText was obscured. You had to ask them for a quote. It wasn't uh, open and disclosed. So I felt that I wasn't really happy to use iText 7. I never got as far as actually testing it, uh, but uh, I wasn't convinced that I wanted to go down that route. The next product I found was PDF Sharp or PDF Sharp Core. This looked more promising. Uh, it, the licensing is less restrictive and I managed to create some PDF uh, files. Uh, it, I could format them. I could for example, right align columns, I can put suitable boxes around items, I could create totals, and I could save the resulting PDF to a server. My only reservation was it seemed a little bit fragile. Uh, for example, in one scenario, I could create a PDF provided I included an image before some text, but if the image was placed after the text, the PDF was not created. So in summary, I could use PDF Sharp to create the purchase order, but I wanted to find a tool with wider potential. And for this reason, I dismissed PDF Sharp and the PDF Sharp core. In my eagerness to find a tool to create PDF files, I completely overlooked the obvious, Syncfusion PDF. I come across Syncfusion's bold reports, but I had missed the fact that Syncfusion PDF even existed, not to mention that it is included in the community license. As I'm using the other Syncfusion controls, this is obviously the path to follow. I'm going to assume that Syncfusion PDF is able to create the documents I want, initially the purchase order. And to start with, I'm more concerned whether I can save PDFs to the server and uh, attach them to emails. This post is therefore going to follow the example published on the Syncfusion website and then adapt it to save the PDF to the server. As mentioned, uh, the example we're going to follow is the Syncfusion uh, example shown here, how to create or generate a PDF file in Blazor. This is the address and I'll put it in the description. And to start with, I'm going to do little more than just blindly follow the example that we've got uh, provided by Syncfusion. So first of all, let's start Visual Studio. And we're going to create a new project. It's a Blazor server app. Server app. I'm going to call it Blazor Server PDF. I'm using .NET 5. It's at the end of September and this is the most recent. Uh, no authentication required, so I'll click Create. So 
So the first thing we have to do is install the NuGet package for Syncfusion PDF .NET Core. So under Tools, NuGet Package Manager, I'll browse for Syncfusion PDF. And the one we want is syncfusion.pdf.net.core. So I'll highlight that and install it. I'm not going to worry too much about the licensing of this. Uh, the end result will have a banner over it saying it was created by a trial version. Um, and I'm, I'm happy with that for the moment. So that's got that installed. And going back to the instructions, we want to create a new class called export service under the data folder. So under the data folder, right click, add class, and it's got to be called export service. And we need to add these using statements at the top. So I'll just copy that from the Syncfusion website. And I'll add them to these. Back to the instructions. And we need to add the following method. So again, I'm just going to copy that. Give myself a little bit of room in here and paste. And we've got some errors. And we need to have using system IO. Right, back to the instructions. We now need to register that in the configure services. Uh, I think it's only just this line we'll need. So I'll copy that and go over to startup. And it's under this configure services. Add that line in there. And we now want to inject export service into the fetch data dot razor. So I'll copy those lines and find fetch data under the pages. And paste them in there. And I have found a few typing errors in the Syncfusion uh, examples, that should be export service because that's what we've called it in the data folder. So having done that, we now need to create a button. So again, in the fetch data page. So I'm going to put it at the bottom of the table and now we've got this export to PDF uh, method that we need. And the code for that is given here. Uh, it says add functions, but it's actually just this, oops, it's just this bit that we need. So I'll copy that. And that needs to go into the code section down here. So I'll stick it at the bottom. And then create a class file with, few, with file util name and add the following code to it. So uh, let's do that. I'm not quite sure where to put this. Um, I think I'll put it under, under data. Uh, 
and it's called file util. And we want this static class, which I think needs to replace all that. And we've got another red squiggly and I think we need using Microsoft.js interop at the top here. As I say, I have found a few typing errors or anomalies. Now we need to add the following JavaScript to the underscore host file. So again, I'll just copy the whole of that. And here's the host file under pages, and I'll put it at the bottom. Right, and that should be it. Uh, but I have I have recollections that there's a another typing error somewhere. Yes, this. That PDF export service should be that export service. So I'll just copy that and replace that. And according to Syncfusion, that should be it. We should be able to run it. So let's try running it. I'll save it all to start with and then run. So fetch data, there's our button. And if I click that, I get my sample file. So it's got the created with the trial version of Syncfusion at the top, but there indeed is the, the data from the uh, weather forecast page. That's not terribly well laid out, but there's the data. OK, so I'll close that. So what's happening here? Well, if we look at the fetch data, we're using this uh, memory stream export service create PDF. Um, and then it's going to save as using this uh, JavaScript. Now, another oddity is that um, the code from Syncfusion has Excel stream here. This has got nothing to do whatsoever uh, with Excel. And probably for my own sanity, I'm going to rename that PDF stream. So it's using the export service create PDF. And if we look at that, it's creating a memory stream and it's going to return uh, that stream. Now for the time being, I'm just going to treat this as a black box. We'll go into more detail about this uh, in a future video, but this is the, this is the code that's used uh, to create the PDF. So back at fetch data, it's using the memory stream, it's creating the PDF, and then it's awaiting this JavaScript save as, and that's what creates the, 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 uh, the sample PDF to the local machine, to the client. Now, what I want to do is to save it to the server. Um, and the next steps will show how we can do that. In preparation for this, I want to create a new folder called files. And that's where I want to save the PDF 
file when we've created it. And now in the fetch data, I want to replace this line here with some other code that will save it to that, that location. I'll pause the video while I type it and uh, you'll see uh, the, the finished result when I've got it done. Right, so that's the, the code. And what I'm doing here is creating a string called file name and I'm adding the environment.current directory and concatenating that with files, which is this new folder I've created up here. And I'm going to call the end file PDF test.pdf. So that's the uh, f file name. Then I'm creating a file stream called fs, and it's a, a new file stream. And I'm passing to it the file name, which is if basically pdf.test. The file mode is create. Uh, and that will overwrite any existing ones that it should happen to be in that folder with the same name. I'm writing it and I'm not sharing uh, the file with anything else. So I'm converting PDF data uh, uh, to a, a stream uh, array and then writing PDF data at starting at the starting position and the end position will be the length of the PDF data and I'm closing the file stream. There's a green squiggly under here because uh, I, it's not returning anything so I don't really need to await anything uh, so I could say it's a protected void so why don't I do that? That should get rid of that. Uh, clear up this extra line here and run it. So fetch data, export to PDF. Now there's no response from this. I haven't done any uh, put any uh, toast messages, um, it's just run. So what we have to do now is just close it, go back to our files, and lo and behold, there's our test page. If I double click that, I get the weather forecast. So this is a pretty rough and ready application. Uh, I've hard-coded the file name. Um, I've given the user no indication whether it has worked or not. Uh, but at this stage, I have demonstrated to myself that we can create a PDF file using Syncfusion PDF and it can be saved to the server. I'll put links in the description to uh, the files that uh, make up this video um, and the next stage will be to create a purchase order as a PDF and attach that to an email. So that's going to be the next video, hopefully not too long uh, in, the, in the future. Um, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it's uh, proved to be helpful. Thank you very much.